Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk about what appears to be a sneak peek at Titan Suits, an interview that my radar did with Star Citizen, and some cool joystick stuff from Verpil. I'll start with the juiciest part of the My Radar uh, app interview that they did. So they showed us what appears to be first concept looks at Titan suits. And it looks like in their current iteration that those Titan suits can carry a large weapon, maybe a size 1 uh, ship weapon, or have power loading type arms from Alien for, for grabbing cargo. So literally being able to pick up larger cargo boxes, I'm assuming, or cargo box in each hand. So expect modular choices with the arms for the Titan suits, at least that being their current intention. Players should be able to fit inside the exosuit, basically at the top, and then be two foot taller with leg extensions from the actual suit. They have talked about the Titan suits before as well, having tested them in white box versions in engine previously. But, like, versions that they tested had two size 1 ship weapons for arms and, like, hands, so they weren't able to turn in corridors, though it looks like this concept here has overcome that by holding a single size 1 weapon in both hands. And it looks like the intention of those Titan suits is to be multi-function exosuits with both utility and combat purposes now. It's clearly in concept phase here, so expect a lot of changes and iterations um, before we actually see it go into a more fleshed out state. Possibly will go on concept sale as a like a shipper vehicle type thing, uh, like they do with ships. But uh, it's an important missing link between ground to air to, to space combat, uh, having little guys on the ground, Obviously having that anti-tank weapons potentially, but also having these larger suits, uh, which could do defences and utility work as well. So Star Citizen also uh, interviewed uh, Chris Roberts and Aaron Roberts, as well as Tony Zorovic, uh, during that My Radar interview. And I'll go over a couple of things that they said there that they haven't really talked about before or they wanted to reiterate. Star Citizen strives to do things that other games would find too ambitious. The scope of the game has grown exponentially, and they're utilising all the tech and funding they can to make the game the best damn space sim ever. The community have set the tone for what they want in the game and will continue to do that. They were always planning on adding features like procedural planets and continuing to upgrade the tech after release, but the huge amount of funding and the community has now allowed them to expand their studios and add these things now. All the money raised before release is going back into the game, being primarily spent on developers and manpower. The game is a huge sandbox sim. Chris has said that in many ways it's like the game's second life. Players will be able to have the tools to do what they want to do in-game, whether that be a social experience or more action gameplay, even farming, law enforcement. You can build a homestead and fend off hostile wildlife on a pretty planet or whatever. My Radar have also integrated 3.0's moons into its weather app, so uh, Yella, Selin, and Daymar. And at the moment, you can explore the geographical features of each of those moons on that app, which are exactly the same features as the ones in 3.0. So you're literally getting to see them in-game, but on your app. Uh, in the future, they will be exploring exploring adding real-time weather with the app and game together. I would love to eventually see full real-time weather from the game translated into this app, uh, as well as coordinates and other little features so I can see where I am and I can plan things. Star Citizen will continue to grow and be supported after its release until people don't want to play it anymore. They're expecting at the moment, I think it's 10 to 15 years sort of like um, support. Also, we're still waiting on news if Star Citizen are actually going to look into a branded HOTAS again after the SciTech and Logitech stuff that went on when they now doesn't look like they've got a deal at the moment. We won't know. We will know more after 3.0 and Squadron 42 are released. But there are some super cool joysticks being made by Verpil. So the VPC Constellation Delta Stick by Verpil is scheduled for release in the first quarter of 2018 and it's focusing on space sims like Star Citizen. After announcing them recently they've actually iterated further on the design to include a secondary fire button and they've coloured that which is black for a sleeker look as well. Um, these are fully featured very high quality enthusiast sticks and I'll try and get one for full review once they've been released. I suspect that Nubafire and possibly Twerk and some of the other uh, Star Citizen YouTubers will be doing some future stuff with them too but check them out on their website uh, links below for that Constellation series it's worth kind of following them I think they're going to be pretty cool there is a potential as well that we might see some more on those Titan suits between now and the holiday live stream before Christmas I'm expecting the holiday live stream to be uh, between the 15th and 22nd of December either the Friday the 15th or 
Friday the 22nd. That's my expectation. Uh, we know that there's going to be a tumble vehicle that's supposed to go on concept before the end of the year. Uh, they are also working on another ship for concept. Again, that could potentially go on sale before the end of the year, uh, as well as those Titan suits. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, there are issues for a lot of people as well with the latest PTU 3.8e patch, with players not being able to join PTU servers, constantly getting those 3007 errors, um, and kind of having to try different servers or keep on trying to connect before you can get on. And once you are on, there are huge CPU spikes that cause the game to pause every few seconds. It's pretty annoying. Hopefully, we should have a patch 3.0 AF ASAP today or tomorrow, I suspect. I will fix that. But that's the problem so with PTU patches. Sometimes they are a step backwards with performance and stability. Every month, we have a giveaway. For December, it's now the extra double-sized, massive Orion mining vessel donated by our featured org, Selfmade, an organisation looking at all types of gameplay with a lawful, neutral kind of stance and a focus on developing yourself as an individual and as a player and kind of not being a dick to others. But all you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that Orion is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my stances and videos during this particular month. Any questions about Alpha 3.0, about the news, about the, the the Constellation Delta Sticks, about anything, the Titan Suits, chuck them in the comments below. A special thank you to my Patreons who allow me to create the amount of content I do. If you're interested in becoming one of them, then you can find the links to Patreon down below as well, as well as everything else we've talked about. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really does help me, and I'll see you in the verse.